Hello everyone, my name is Nui with Karma Yoga. Today we're gonna go and do a beginning all levels flow. You can do this before you start your day, or you can even do this at the end of the day to help you wind down. So let's begin. We'll start off from our mat in our Sukhasana, or crisscross alpha socks, as we say to our kids. Maybe your eye gaze be slightly soft or closed and your palms are face down towards the floor. As you inhale, start to roll your shoulders back, allowing yourself some movement through those shoulder blades through your neck and shoulders. And then as your shoulder blades fall back in sockets, find the alignment for the spine. Inhale, allow your hands to float up nice and high. Palms will come back into press down towards your heart center. With your next few breaths, allow yourself to say something to help you create the intention for this practice. Maybe this intention serves as a person that reminds you that you are loved, that you are kind. Or maybe this intention serves as a place where you feel happy, where you feel safe and secure. Or maybe this intention even brings a word to your mind to remind you that you are strong, powerful, beautiful, and that you can do anything you set your mind to. On the next inhale, allow your hands to float nice and high. Exhale, lower down your right hand, let the left hand come across the body as you reach towards to the side. Good. And then inhale as you float your way back in towards the center. Exhale, dropping down your left hand, the right arm will come across. Good. Inhale, float your hands back up nice and high over your head. Roll your shoulders back and allow yourself to find a little shoulder rolls back. This time we're gonna take those shoulder rolls forward too as well. And now we go forward. And then on the next inhale, allow those hands to find rise back up. Exhale, this time you're gonna twist your left hand to the outside of your right knee, finding that spinal twist, and allow that spine to be up nice and tall. So if you feel yourself slightly slouching back down, maybe those hips are a little bit tighter, you can always find a block to sit on, or maybe some books since we're all at home now. But find that twist and have it, have it go from the lower lumbar up through the cervical spine. And then on your next inhale, allow those hands to float back up nice and high. Exhale, this time we take the opposite side twist. So this time your right hand to the outside of your left knee, twisting towards the side. Good, now remember to allow the twist to happen naturally through the lower lumbar, all the way up through the cervical spine. If you try to find yourself slouching, just try to rise your hips back up a little bit and then be a little bit taller. Inhale as you float your hands back up nice and high over your head. Exhale, bring those hands back down. And last time we take those shoulder rolls back. We'll take three back. And then we'll take three forward too as well. Good. Perfect. The next, in, next inhale, again, your hands will rise up nice and high. Exhale, hands come back down by your side. Good. Lower the chin down towards your chest. Gently allow a sway of your head and neck from side to side. Again, we're just stretching through that neck and shoulder, your sternocleidomastoid. Good. Now you can do little these half circles. Or you can go more like a bobblehead from side to side. And the next time you go towards that, let's go towards that left side, you'll hold the stretch there. And again, so some of us, we're trying to focus through that right sternocleidomastoid right up here. So it feels better if that stretch is not there for you, maybe slightly turn the chin to the shoulder. Or if it's already there, maybe lower the ear deeper to the shoulder. Find the stretch where it feels best for you. And then your left hand will go above your right ear, slightly tugging down. Okay. Not a lot of pressure, just a little bit more can go a long way. Okay. And then slowly as you bring your hand back down by your side, allow the chin to find its way back to the center. Continue this rotation towards your opposite side as you stretch into that right sternocleidomastoid or that left sternocleidomastoid this time. And again, you can turn your chin to the shoulder or drop that ear to the shoulder. When you find where that stretch feels best for you, your right hand will go above your left ear, slightly tugging down. And then slowly as you drop that hand back down by your side, the chin comes back to the chest. Inhale, roll your shoulders back. And then exhale, four blades fall back in sockets. Line the spine to be up nice and tall. Inhale, allow your hands to rise. Exhale, bring your hand to the front of your mat as you unfurl your legs, finding that neutral tabletop position. We're gonna do a few rounds of cat-cow, so follow your breath movement. So on the in-breath, lower the belly, allowing your head to rise as you go into that cow pose. As you take that exhale, round out through that cat spine, tucking that pelvis under. 
We do a few more. So inhale, lower in their belly, head rises, elbow will start to spin. Exhale, rounding through that cat spine, pushing the floor away. Inhale, belly drops, head rises, elbow will spin. Exhale, rounding through that cat spine. And as you find your way back in through that neutral table, keep the palms underneath your shoulders, knees will stay stuck underneath your hips. Allowing your right hand to reach forward towards the front of, the, of your room. And slowly start to rotate your wrist clockwise and counterclockwise, allowing movement for those wrists. You may do a little tight fist motion here, like you squeeze and let go, squeeze and let go, and you can continue to rotate. Then as you bring your hand down by your side, back to the front of your mat, this time we'll take our left hand, reach it forward to the front of the room. Again, slowly find that rotation of the wrist clockwise, counterclockwise. Here's memory, we can make that tight fist, squeeze, let go. Squeeze, let go, maybe rotate with the squeeze. It's really all up to you. Then as you find your way back into that neutral table, palms back underneath your shoulders, knees are stay stacked underneath your hips. Inhale, allow that right leg to lift as you kick it back nice and long, have that foot flex and toes down towards the earth. Slowly start to lower your toes down and use those palms to stretch back as you push into your gas drop your calf. Beautiful. Inhale, shift your body weight back forward as you lift up that back foot. Find your left hand and sweep it, reaching forward towards the front of the room. Again, allowing this full sunburn stance. So imagine someone's pulling your hand forward and someone's pulling your foot back. And your core, utilizing that Uddiyana Bandha, that belly button zipping to the spine feeling is the glue that's holding it together. Drop the hand down onto the mat, exhale, bend the knee back down. A slight little rotation to the hips, so maybe we go two ways sideways. Beautiful, and then we go back. Good, and then find your way back into that neutral table, palms back underneath your shoulders, knees to stay stacked underneath your hips. This time, inhale, left leg will lift as you kick it back long, put flex toes back down towards the earth. Lower the toes down to the floor, use those palms to stretch back as you stretch it to that gastro. Inhale as you shift your body weight back forward, lift up that back foot, and then taking your right hand, reach it towards the front of the room, full sunburn stance, keeping that core nice and strong. Allowing the strength of that Uriana Banda as you're trying to reach into two opposite directions, hold your core stable. And as you drop the hand down onto the mat, exhale, bend the knee back down to the mat. Slowly find your sway from side to side. Remember, we take the same motions, the same amount of times each way. And then slowly, as you find your way back to that neutral table, take the wide edges of the mat with your knees, have the big toes come into touch, and sink into this hip opening version of child's pose. And then slowly as you find your way back on your next in-breath to that neutral tabletop, palms back underneath the shoulders, knees will stay stuck underneath your hips. Inhale, right leg lifts, kick it back nice and long, put his flex toes down towards the earth. Exhale, left hand reaches forward. Perfect. Again, utilizing the strength that Uriyanda Banda as you maintain your stability of balance. Perfect. Reach like the front wall is trying to be, reach, reach with that back foot, like trying to stamp anything back behind you. Perfect. Exhale, you bend the elbow to the knee as you find your crunch. Round through that calf spine. Exhale, reach back forward. Inhale, find that crunch. Exhale, reach back forward. Drop the hand down onto the mat. As you exhale, bend your knee, place foot down in between your hands. And slowly, you're going to find a dynamic movement going forward and then sit back into your half monkey guy. Again, we reach slightly forward to this over-exaggerated lower lunge, and then sit back here, half monkey god pose. Reach back forward one more time, low lunge, and then this time we sink back, half monkey god. Now, if you want to work a little extra stretch into those hamstrings, those tight hamstrings, maybe start to lift your right hand, place it underneath the bottom, the, outside, the inside of that right foot, and slowly dip the forward down towards the knee. Then slowly find the rise of the head as the hand comes back down. Find your balance. Align your knees to be over the ankles. As you go to your Anjaneya Asana, find your balance. Arms lift up overhead. 
Now here, if you feel more comfortable, you can always keep your hands into your prayer hands or Anjali Mudra. Or your hands can be stable onto your hips. Or they can be reaching towards the ceiling. It's up to you. Perfect. Exhale, bend your elbows as you frame the front foot. Check it through the back toe, lift up your back knee. Step in that back foot forward, find that forward fold. Allow yourself to find that sway from side to side. You can grab opposite elbows if that feels best for you. Again, hips are extended back, so still stretching through the hamstrings. Inhale, find a half lift into your flat back pose. Exhale, go back down to bring your hands down, walking both feet back. Our first vinyasa brings us down to our knees, our chest, and through our chin as we swoop into baby cobra pose. And exhale, fold your way back down, tuck into the toes, lift your way back up to that neutral table. And then using those palms, stretch and the chest comes in towards the quads, finding your first downward facing dog. Now you can bend your knees, do a little deep knee bends, cuddle the feet slightly. You can start to slowly lift up a leg. Open up through the hip. Make sure you work the other side too as well. Again, the first downward facing dog of the practice. Just find some movements here. Now remember, if you're like me, you don't have to have your knees hyperextended. So I always keep a nice bend in my knees because it's all about the alignment from my cervical spine to my lumbar, using the palms to press my chest in towards the quads. Inhale, slowly shift back. Find that neutral tabletop. Palms back underneath the shoulders. Knees will stay stacked underneath your hips. Inhale, this time the left leg will lift as you kick it back long, put his flex toes to the earth. And then reaching forward with that right hand, utilizing the strength of my Uddiyana Bandha, that belly button dipping to the spine as I'm reaching forward, trying to grab everything in front of me, then trying to stamp everything behind me, but my core is holding me strong. Exhale, elbows, knees, find that crunch. Inhale, we reach back forward. Exhale, elbows, knees, find the crunch. Inhale, we reach back forward. Then as you drop the hand down onto the mat, your next exhale, bend the knee, place foot down in between your hands. Then the other stretch through that low lunge over exaggeration here, and then sit back into half monkey god. Inhale, low lunge, exaggeration. Exhale, we sink back into half monkey god. Inhale, last time we find that over exaggerated lower lunge. And then exhale, we sit back, half monkey god pose. Again, if you're looking for a little bit more stretch into the left hamstring here, maybe take your left hand to the outside of that left foot. And then slowly start to lift that forehead down towards the knee. Good. And then as you bring your head to slowly come back up, slowly find your way back into your Anjane Asana as your arms start to lift up overhead. Good, now again, remember we can take your hands into the Anjali Mudra prayer hands or more stability hands onto those hips. Good, our hands gonna remain up nice and tall. Inhale, roll shoulders back, lift through the spine. Exhale, fold your hands down, frame through that front foot, tucking the back toe, lift up your back knee, step that back foot forward, finding your forward fold. Now, if we grab opposite elbows like I did earlier, we can just do the same, but this time use your non-dominant hand over the elbow and find that sway from side to side. Inhale, hands on shins, find that half lift, flat back. Exhale, go back and forward as you bring your hands down, walking both feet back. This time, our vinyasa, we'll shift your body weight forward, lowering halfway down, chaturanga vinyasa, swooping into upward facing dog. Tuck into the back toes, lift your chest up, in towards your quads, downward facing dog. Now remember, you can always take that first option too. Knees, chest, and chin, find your way there. As you bend your knees, look forward, walk your feet in towards your hands, as many steps, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, arms will find rise overhead, palms will come in to press, exhale, down towards your heart center, your Simon Siti He stand in mountain pose. We'll take two more rounds. Inhale, arms will rise. Exhale, we take that forward fold. Inhale, hands on shins, half lift. Exhale, go back and fold. Walk, float, or hop your feet back. Find your vinyasa from here. Remember, the option is to walk those feet back, or knees, chest, and chin. We'll meet back again, downward facing down. Bend your knees, eye gaze towards your thumbs. Walk, float, or hop your feet in, forward fold. Hips extend back, head parallel towards the mat. Inhale, reverse swan dive, arms will rise. Palms will come back in the press, exhale down towards your heart center, Samsi Tiki, stand in mountain pose. One last round, inhale, arms will rise. Exhale, we take that forward fold. Inhale, half lift, hands on chest. Exhale, go back and fold, hands down, walk both feet back. Again, then find the vinyasa that works for you. 
So shift your body weight forward, lower halfway down, chaturanga dasana into your upward facing dog. Tighten the back toes, lift yourself up, downward facing dog. And then slowly shift your body weight back forward, find the wide edges of your mat, have the big toes coming to touch and sink into your hip opening version of child pose. Remember the intentions that you have set for yourself earlier before the practice began. You can always bring those back anytime throughout the practice or maybe, maybe even anytime throughout the day. Inhale, find your way back into that neutral table. Again, you can find that sway from side to side. Maybe come back and do a little hip motions. Whatever feels good, just find more mobility for the, for the body. Then as you come back into the neutral table, palms back underneath your shoulders, knees will stay stacked underneath your hips. Inhale, right leg lifts, kick it back up. Exhale, left arm reaches forward. One big long hold, keeping that strength that Uddiyana the Bandha. And then exhale, elbow T crunch. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, elbow T crunch. Inhale, reach back up. Drop the hand down onto the mat. Exhale, bend your knee, place foot down in between your hands. Find your balance. Allow your hands to find the nice and high overhead. Roll shoulders back. Lengthen through the spine as reach up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, fold your hands down to the inside of that right foot. Now we can wing this foot out to the side, and you keep it flat. Now option here to work your way down with your forearms if your flexibility is there with your hips, or you can stay up nice and high. Find your lizard lunge, whatever works for you. Flatten that foot out in the back so you're not onto your toes. Then three, two, and one. As the palms go back down, shift those hands, the right hand back to the outside of the right foot, facing the front foot back forward, find your balance and stability, then allow your hands to find the foot back up nice and high over your head. Anjane Asana. And exhale, fold your hands back down onto the mat, tuck through the back toe, lift up your back knee, step that back foot forward, forward, forward. Inhale, hands on shins, half lift. Exhale, go back and fold. Hands down, walk both feet back, and then find your vinyasa. Halfway down, Chaturanga Dadasana, upward facing dog. Tucking through the back toes, lift your way back up, downward facing dog. Slowly come back onto your toes, lower yourself back down to your hands and knees. Find that neutral table, palms back underneath your shoulders, knees will stay stacked underneath your hips. Inhale, left leg lift this time, kick it back long. Right hand reaches forward, keeping that core nice and strong, utilizing the strength of that Uyanda Bandha. Exhale, elbow to knees, finds the crunch. Inhale, reach back long. Exhale, elbow knee crunch. Inhale, reach back long. Reach, and then drop your hand down onto the mat. Exhale, bend your knee, place foot down in between your hands. Find your balance and stability. Allow those hands to find foot nice and high overhead. Inhale, roll shoulders back like you're reaching towards the ceiling. Exhale, fold hands back down to the inside of that left leg. Slide that right knee back a little bit deeper if you want a bit more into that right soha. Now remember, you can always bring this foot to the side if it's easier, or lower down the forearms, whatever works for you. Now, if you have blocks or any props at home that you can use, you can always use those two to build the floor up like an extension of the floor. So maybe up high, you can go down the floor. Options up to you. And then slowly as you flatten the foot back, facing the toes to the short edge, reach that left hand back to the outside of that left foot, tuck through the back toe, lift up your back knee, step that back foot forward, 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 hips will extend back, head parallel towards the mat. Good, inhale, hands on chest, half lift. Exhale, go back and fold, hands down, walk forward, hop your feet back. And then optional vinyasa, just go back into downward facing dog. Your call will be there, down dog facing, so it's up to you. Beautiful, inhale, right leg will lift, down dog is your split, your three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, place foot down between your hands, find your balance and stability, allow your hands to find slow and nice and high over your head, high crescent lunge. Good, again, remember you can always hold your Anjali Mudra prayer hands or hands onto your hips too as well. Whatever works for you, flowing. Good, inhale, roll shoulders back, lengthen through the spine as you're reaching up towards the ceiling. We're gonna go into a single leg standing balance. So exhale, bring your hands down onto the mat. You can slowly set that back foot forward and then lift up into standing split pose. Now option for you, if you have more of a standing split practice, you can always put one hand down onto your ankle, one hand to the floor, or maybe both here or here. It's up to you. Perfect, slowly bring that back to next to your front foot, please find that forward fold. Inhale, find that reverse line dive. Palms come back in the press, exhale, down towards your heart center, Samasiti. Inhale, arms will find your side. Exhale, take that forward fold. 
this time hands down to the mat, we're just gonna walk both feet back and push our way back into downward facing dog. So no vinyasa needed, but you can take it if you want to. Good, inhale, left leg lift, this time your down dog split. Slight bend, exhale, knee to the nose and drop your foot down between your hands, find your balance and stability. Arms will find us rise overhead, high crescent lunge. Again, remember you can always stay in your prayer hands, our hands can be onto your hips. Your Rolling your shoulders back as you lift up the spine towards the ceiling. Then we're gonna to go to our single leg standing back. So exhale, hands down to the mat, back foot steps in forward and then slightly find that lift. Standing split. Your version of standing split. Any version, as long as it's yours. Beautiful, drop that back foot next to your front foot, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Palms will come back into press, exhale, some CTP, standing up. Inhale, arms are rise. Exhale, forward fold. Hands back down, walking both feet back and use those palms, push away into downward dog. Inhale, right leg lift, down dog split, three-legged dog. We'll bend the knee to open that hip this time. Perfect, exhale. Knee comes back in towards the nose and drop the foot down between your hands. Find your balance and stability. Find your rise, arms lift up overhead. Again, any version of your standing split. Now this time when we take our standing split, we're gonna go into either two options. Back into that standing split that we did earlier, or if you have a, a stronger practice, you can use the front quad and the back glute to push your way into Virabhadrasana Warrior Three. Like so, inhale, and we lift. Perfect. Or you can do your standing split, remember, back down here. Your call. Your Warrior Three can be with your Anjali Mudra hands as well, or airplane wings, or Outer man hands. Perfect. Hands back to the floor. Back foot next to front foot. Forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Palms will come back into press. Exhale, Sama Siti. Good. Inhale, arms will rise. Exhale, we take that forward fold. Inhale, half lift hands on chest. Exhale, go back and fold. Hands down, walk both feet back. Push your chest into your quad. Downward dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, down dog is your split, side bend to the knee, open the hip. Exhale, knee will come back into the nose. Drop the foot down between your hands, find your balance and stability, arms will find its rise. Inhale, high crest and lunge. Hips are squared off towards that short edge of the mat. Find your balance from here. And then take the option that works for you, so prayer hands or arms up high. Now remember, we're gonna go into our bare vajasa three, standing mountain pose, or back to standing split. So arms lift, inhale. Exhale, shoot, warrior three. Any option. Or standing split. And then back when that's your front foot, taking that forward fold, hips will come back, maybe a shake of your hips. Head, yes, no. Good, inhale, reverse one dive. Palms upon his press, exhale, down towards your front steps. Inhale, hands will lift. Exhale, we go back and fold, hands down, walk both feet back, push away into your downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, right leg lift, down dog split, through like a dog, bend through that knee, open that hip. Now we're going to slowly use the strength, the balance of our left hand to lower down that right foot, lifting up our right hand up high. While thing pose, hand will come back down, leg sticks back in that through like a dog. Exhale, bend the knee to the nose, drop the foot down between your hands, back foot to a 90 degree angle, part will your way up into your Vibhajasana Warrior 3. Perfect here. Good, drop that right hand onto the quad, left arm will come across, take that side angle stretch. You can always go deeper if it's in your practice. Inhale, slowly come back into your Vibhajasana 3, flipping that front palm up, back hand onto that hamstring, peaceful warrior. And then one full exhale, cartwheel, pivot that back foot, and then bring that back foot to your front foot, forward fold. Good. Inhale, reverse one dive. Palms are coming to press, exhale down towards the front center, sound CTP. Inhale, hands to lift. Exhale, forward fold. Palms to the mat, walk both feet back, and use those palms, stretch way back into your down facing mat. Inhale, left leg lifts the hand down, dog split through like a dog. Bend through that knee, open that hip so the knees towards the ceiling. Strengthening that right hand to slowly lower that left foot down as the left hand reaches. Wild thing pose. Do it 
rub that head back down. Left leg kicks back, that's when we like it down. Exhale, knee will come back to the nose. Drop the foot down between the hands. Turn that back foot to 90 degree angle. Cartwheel up, Bear Vajrasana, Warrior Two. Lower down the left hand to the quad. Right hand will come across. Side angle stretch. Remember, you can always go deeper. Slowly inhale, back into your Bear Vajrasana Two. Front palm will flip, back hand to the hamstring. Peaceful Warrior. And then inhale, one slow cartwheel onto the mat, pivot that back foot. Taking that back foot next to your front foot as you find that forward fold, hips will extend back. Inhale, hands on shins, half lift. Exhale, go back and fold, hands down. This time we will take a vinyasa, so walk both feet back. Shift your body weight over your shoulders, lower halfway down. Chattering in the nasa, into your outward facing dog. Tucking through the back toes, lifting chest back into the quad, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, right leg will lift, down dog split to be like a dog. Exhale, this time we'll bend the knee and bring that right knee towards that right wrist as you square your, your shin to the side of the mat and find your pigeon pose. We're going to stay up nice and high in pigeon first. And then on your next inhale, lift up the chin. Exhale, slowly come down into the pigeon we all know and love. Now you can make two fists, rest your head, you cross your hands over. And then bring a little bit more of a relaxing, equal tone to your breath. Maybe three in, three out. And then slowly as you find your hands back onto the mat, you're gonna slowly lower your right hip down, swing your legs forward. As the heels are to the floor, toes pointing towards the ceiling, hands will come back behind you. Let's sway our hips from side to side. Perfect. Here, you're going to take your hands underneath your knees, find your balance. Just slowly start to lift up your feet and find your Navasana boat pose. Now you can keep your hands here or you can reach slightly forward. Again, we're going to lift up the chest. Perfect. Cross your legs, crisscross out soft, hands onto your knees. Slowly find that sway through your hips. We'll take two one way. And we'll take two the opposite way as well. Find yourself to have one last vinyasa, so inhale, your arms will lift. Exhale, bring your hands down, walk both feet back. And then shift your body weight back forward, lower and halfway down, chattering into dasana, into your upward facing dog. Tuck into the back toes, lift yourself back up, downward dog. Inhale, left leg will lift, down dog split. Exhale, left knee to that left wrist, find your pigeon pose. Slide that back foot back behind you, flatten the foot. Now remember to lift up the chest nice and high, inhale, chin is lifted. And then exhale, we find that version of pigeon that we all know and love. Allowing that breath to become a little bit more stable, a little bit more even. And then inhale to bring your hands back down onto the mat. Lower down this left hip glute, and then swing your legs back forward, heels are to the floor, toes are towards the ceiling, hands back behind you, let's sway those hips from side to side. Okay, find your way back in, you're gonna walk your, your feet a little bit towards the body here, hands will go back underneath, last time to your Navasana boat pose. Hands can be reaching towards the floor or the front, be a little bit wider. Maybe take Yogi Peace fingers around your big toe, extend that boat through a little bit straighter. Lifting up the chest, Good. Slow that as you bring your knees back into your body. Lower yourself down one vertebra at a time. As you hit the floor, inhale. Biggest exhale. Gently find that sway from side to side. Good. And then as you bring the soles of the feet to come into press, hands will slide to the outside of your feet and slowly find your way up into your happy baby pose. And then if this baby wants to be a rockin', we won't come a knocking, so maybe this way from side to side. And you can always take Yogi Peace Fingers on your big toe as well. And then as the soles of the feet come back into press, slowly lower yourself down. Knees are closed in like they were a book, and lower yourself down towards both knees to the right side, arms along, eye gaze to the right. Remember to bring that heart rate back down making it nice and even to your body. Okay, 
Inhale, back into the center. Exhale, opposite side, knees to the left, eye gaze to the right. And then inhale, back into the center, extend your legs long, taking your final Shavasana. So Shavasana is your space. Allow your mind to be clear, your body to be still. Maybe bringing those words of the intention or that person or that place that you had set for yourself before the practice began. On your next inhale, let's bring your knees back into your chest. Slowly, you're gonna rotate down to whatever side feels comfortable, using your opposite hand to lift your weight up. Find your Sukhasana, your sweet seat, crisscross applesauce. Allowing the palms to be down towards the floor. Eye gaze slightly soft or close. Body to be still. The words we say about ourselves, they become ourselves, they become our truth. So with these next few breaths, say something kind. In a time where things are so uncertain, in a time where things are strange, let there be some goodness, let there be some light. The positivity all starts with you. And it starts with a kind word. But in order to love others, you must love yourself first. So say something kind about yourself. On the next inhale, arms will rise overhead, palms will find pressed down towards your heart center. Exhale. Taking your thumbs, place them over your heart slowly, bowing your head in your Anjali Mudra in acknowledgement of your practice. Adventurous, fun, courageous. My soul honors your soul. I honor the place where you and the entire universe resides. I honor the light, the love, the beauty, and the peace that is within you, but is also within me. In sharing these things, we all become one. We are the same. My name is Nui. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to the day where we all can just meet and practice all together again. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste.